My name is Dennis Aschendorf. I live in Costa Mesa and I teach at Back Bay and Monta Vista High Schools. Today, the issue facing our state isn't my high school, but will occur in my high school if Governor Newsom signs AB 101, a mandated ethnic studies curriculum for all students in California. What could go wrong? Well, I'm not really interested right this second to discuss weaponized postmodernism and CRT, but just the practical issues of installing a mandated curriculum that now makes it more difficult for homeless kids to graduate. I specialize in students at risk and rob students of electives in a world where taking as many STEM courses as you can really matters. One less chemistry class, one less coding class for ethnic studies class. Also, is ethnic studies really ethnic studies? That is a great problem because it's not what you think it is. And this is the watered down curriculum that's been accepted by our legislator for his approval. So we need to look at that a little bit. So look in front of your screen first and you'll see the link to what is ethnic studies curriculum. And it's hundreds of pages. What I've done is just focused on one aspect of it. What are the UC approved courses? Oh. You see approved, what does that mean? The governor's approving it. No, 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 no. Courses need UC approval. Now, if you really want to know what these courses are, let's see what UC has approved. Look at your next screen. There's six different schools that have pre-approved courses, and this is the watered down curriculum. Keep that in mind. Let's slowly scroll through them. Take a moment or two read them. It's just the text from the law and I've just put a couple clippings in there for you to see from different school districts. Not just one, not just San Francisco, but Scottston, Citrus Heights, Pajaro Valley. All these places are opting to accept ethnic studies as soon as they can because it is the coolest thing to offer. It really is cool stuff. Except, is it what you want to be mandated for your children? If you look at this, first thing is these courses have to have all students accept them to create a culture of joy and acceptance and cheer within a classroom. So if you don't like what's being taught, you really can't criticize because it means you're an oppressor, a word that they use repeatedly in this curriculum. It's strange. Ethnic studies is about oppression, oppressors and oppressed groups. I don't know, is there anything positive going on here? Actually, there's not much positive. If you look at one of the excerpts, it says your job is to stop problems on ethnicity. I mean, there's no celebration of anything good. That's an odd thing to have in a mandated high school course paid for with public money. So what can you do about it? Well, besides writing Governor Newsom and suggesting that making laws that are out of sync with the average voter may not be good for his political career, we can also do things to help protect ourselves. The first thing is, our school board in Newport Mesa is being proactive on this. They have commissioned a local writer to write a curriculum that suits our local community needs a little better than the state ones being in front of you. Unfortunately, what's the future of that? The future of that is weaker because once you adopt a curriculum it still has to every few years be revised and a small little local person to revise isn't going to be competitive with beautiful textbook publishers following the accepted curriculum from the writers of the curriculum that's how the game is played because administrators always buy the curriculum that has the strongest alignment with the standards that's how the game is played and that's nothing wrong per se, but it may not be what's wisest in this situation. So we can also ask the Board of Education to amend their adoption policy by adding, don't adopt a curriculum written by the writers of the standards themselves. Basically a way to kick themselves back hundreds of millions of dollars. We can protect ourselves. Tell the school board, 
to support a small amendment change, hopefully it's on their agenda, and write the governor reminding him that his political future is at risk. Thank you.